Yep. Next time, I'm filing for design registration. I'll help too. This new product is sure to be hot. The bottle design's ready. We just need to file for design rights. Leave it to me. My only goal has been to create something amazing. But from now on, I'll have to think about design rights, too. To get design rights, you've got to register. Nothing happens until you file with the patent office. That's right. But what do we have to do to apply? You all seem enthusiastic about obtaining design rights. Let me explain application filing procedures. You may file electronically or on paper. We have internet access, so I'd like to file online. In order to use internet e-filing, you must first purchase an e-certificate. This e-certificate serves as your electronic identification. Oh, so it's like your signature. The Ministry of Justice's e-certificate registry office issues the certificate to companies. To learn how to purchase one, please visit the Ministry of Justice's website. What do individuals need to do? Individuals can purchase an e-certificate from their local government using a basic resident registry IC card. Private organizations called designated certification authorities also sell them. You'll also need internet e-filing software. Please visit the National Center for Industrial Property Information and Training's website and submit a request for the software at their filing support site. You'll then receive a URL from which you can download the required software. You can also download several templates. I've downloaded the software. Now I'm ready. When filing an application via the internet, you must register as an applicant with the patent office. To do this, Simply start up the e-filing program and fill out the required fields. After this, you must obtain the payment number needed when paying the application fee. I have a payment number. Now let's fill out the application documents. Ms. Kurata, you're in charge of the application. Got it. Now, please tell me how to fill out these forms. You'll use the templates you just downloaded to complete your application. They will help you fill out the application form and prepare the required drawings. First, the form. Complete it in accordance with the template. The reference number is used to identify your application if necessary. Enter a combination of no more than 10 letters and numbers of your choice. Next, enter fields including your address and the article to the design. The article to the design? In other words, the article to which the design applies, like chair or table. Based on past examples, this bottle of skin toner is a bottle for packaging. Next, the drawings. In principle, you need a front view, a rear view, a left view, a right view, a plan, and a bottom view. In total, six drawings. So I just follow the template and add the drawings, right? Right. The drawings present the design's shape, 
also add a perspective view or cross-section if necessary. Finished. Once you've done the drawings, it's actually easy. Nice work, Miss Kurata. I can count on you. Well... I'd like to use CGs that I made on my computer in my application. Is that allowed? Ah, computer graphics. Yes, you may base drawings such as front and rear views on computer graphics. So I can use CGs as drawings. I can't make a drawing on a computer. <sighs> Mr. Chiba, you may also submit photos, specimens, and models. Huh? If so, then even I can file. <laughs> Great, Koichi. Mm. Our application is ready. So, let's send it in. Okay, here it goes. You're not done just yet. You must still pay the patent office a 16,000 yen application fee. Oh, that's right. You may pay via internet banking or at ATMs that have a pay easy function. Then I'll pay at a nearby ATM. I'd really like to hand deliver my application. You certainly may. Just prepare the application, affix patent revenue stamps, and take it to the reception counter at the patent office. Finally, my application. I here it is. You can also submit it by post, like registered mail. I finally submitted my application! An examination is then conducted to determine whether registration requirements are met. I'm nervous. Like a kid. <laughs> Taking exams. <laughs> If all goes well, a decision of registration is made. What if there's a problem? Applications are not rejected immediately. The applicant is first sent a notification of reasons for refusal, which presents the problems found with the application. So we can present our opinion if we disagree with the decision's reasoning, right? Right. Once you've submitted your opinion, your application is reconsidered by examiners who determine whether to grant or refuse registration. Not all designs should be registered, should they? So, what are the points considered during examination? There are several requirements, but the two most important are novelty and creativity. Of course. Novelty and creativity. Of course. Do you really understand? <laughs> Novelty refers to whether the design already exists. It must be something new that the world has never seen. Oh, so it can't be something you've seen before. Exactly. Creativity is also important. The design must be something that could not have easily been created. An innovative approach is key to design. Yeah, we can't allow designs that aren't worth protecting to be registered. Examination is based on other requirements as well. Examiners with specialized knowledge in design, technology, and the laws conduct these examinations and base their decisions on the several million designs accumulated over the past 120 years.
<sighs> it's boiling out today. Miss Kurata, could you get some ice cream? Uh-uh. Oh. The registration decision. What registration decision? The design application for the new product. Look. Yippee! We got it. Oh, oh, thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. But registration is not yet complete. You must submit a design registration fee payment form and pay 8,500 yen as a first year registration fee. So I just get another payment number with the e-filing software. Exactly. Your design right has now been established. So your design will appear in the Design Gazette. By continuing to pay the registration fee, your right will be valid for as long as 20 years from the time it was established. Now you know how to apply for design registration. Nevertheless, many first-time applicants may still be unsure about how to proceed. That's for sure. Don't worry. A variety of support is provided for those who need it. Organizations such as INPIT and JIII accept inquiries regarding application procedures. I'm sure glad we can get help from friendly experts. Intellectual property rights counseling counters have been established through about 3,000 chambers of commerce and society of commerce and industry offices. National and local public institutions also host seminars and consultations on design and industrial property rights. This is the Japan Patent Attorneys Association's website. Patent attorneys specialize in intellectual property issues, from applications and consultations to disputes. This site allows you to search for a patent attorney or office that handles design rights. When we got that warning letter, I didn't know what to do. But with this tool, we found a great patent attorney which really helped. The design right! We got it! <laughs> Sir, this month's sales figures. Great. New product sales are strong. Yes. Thank you very much. I've been getting more work. I bet it's because of design rights. I'm entering a design contest. Cool. Then you should think about design rights. Yeah. It sounds like you all understand design rights and are making the most of them. Design rights are an effective tool in making your designs work for you. The products protected by design rights will surely become the center of your businesses. We look forward to supporting you in any way we can. <laughs>